Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Rachel Burrow. Um, hello. So I wanted to talk about two things really quickly. One is essential rewards. Guys, this is so key to our business, like selling a kit, but following up with them and getting them to use and love their oils is how you're going to grow your business. And I talked to Paige about this. She started to introduce essential rewards by a subscription box. She doesn't say essential rewards at the beginning. She says, hey, you know, there's two ways you can order through a quick order or you can do like one of those personalized boxes like Stitch Fix and it's a customized box that comes to your door every month. You can change the shipping date. You can put the oils in. It's really awesome. That's what I have decided to do because I really wanted to have that option every month. Boom, you've introduced essential rewards in a super non-threatening, non-pushy way. She also throws in there, and hey, if you are looking at, because I love the oils so much, I was looking for a way to just get my oils covered. If that's something you're interested in, um, that's what I did too. Boom, you've introduced the business. Non-threatening. I think when people feel pushed into essential rewards or pushed into the business and we love these oils. We want you to have them. I think it's, it's, they shut down and it's more off-putting than helpful. So I feel like the subscription box is the way that I'm going to go. And we're actually going to do a subscription box class. Hey, basically it's essential rewards. It's introducing essential rewards in a different way to hopefully get people who just love their oils on essential rewards. The second thing I talked to her about was index cards. I'm going to start putting all of my business people and all of my personally enrolled kit sales on two different color business cards. Then my personally enrolled people that are on ER, I'll put a star on it. I'm going to write down who they are, their phone number, their address, why they bought the kit. That way I can remember they bought the kit for this issue and then I can follow up with them, send them recipes for that and then introduce other new recipes. I think it's a really great way to keep track of everything. It's kind of old school. And if you like a spreadsheet on your computer, do that. But I know that I thought this was a great idea of just having an index card with every kit person's name at the top of it to keep track of kit sales and why they purchased the kit, and the last time you contacted them or followed up with them so that you know, okay, I followed up with them through email on this date, and you don't follow up with them again for a little bit. Um, I haven't done that. I should have been doing that for two years, and I haven't been for a year and a half. So anyway, I thought those were two really fabulous tips. I just wanted to kind of pass those along for you today. Um, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving week. I know I am. I'm going to have my hubby home for a couple days, so that's always really fun. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.